No Punjab, Karnataka, Delhi and West Bengal tableaus in this year's Republic Day Parade. Is this centre's way of getting back at the opposition? We have been missing all the time. 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 Or is that how tableaus have been selected for the parade since forever? Let's break it down. Every year, there are a select number of tableaus that make it to the parade. State governments, union territories and even ministries and departments send their ideas and design blueprints to the Ministry of Defence. This year, the application for this was November 10, 2023. The proposals are then evaluated by a committee appointed by the Defence Ministry. This committee has people from the field of arts, culture, painting, sculpture, music, architecture, choreography and so on. In the first stage of this process, the initial proposal and blueprint is evaluated. The committee even suggests ideas. At this stage itself, a number of proposals get rejected. In the second stage, the 3D model of the proposal is evaluated. After the idea gets passed here, the tableau can be presented at the parade. The committee has the final say on which tableaus are chosen and can suggest any modifications. Every year, the Defence Ministry has an overarching theme. This year's theme is Viksit Bharat or Developed India and Lok Tantra Ki Matrika or India, the Mother of Democracy. There are also some basic guidelines like using bright images or content, using robots or VR or special effects. Tableaus who follow this get more weightage. As per PTI, Punjab and West Bengal's tableaus were rejected as they did not align with the broader theme. Karnataka, on the other hand, was rejected as the state has been having this opportunity for the last 14 years. This time, they wish to give this to some other state. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.